This pair of KC Highlight 6-inch round halogen slim lights with the spot beam pattern are for those of you that have a 1987 all the way up through the most current model year Wrangler. They're looking for a high quality set of auxiliary lights for the front of your Jeep. These are going to throw light really far out in front of you to light up that area past even where your high beams can hit. And they're going to be very, very useful in an off-road situation or even those dark back roads when there is no oncoming traffic. These are gonna be a pretty easy installation. I'm actually gonna give these one out of three wrenches. Even though they're electronics, they're lighting, they require wiring, KC Highlights does a really nice job of providing you with a full wiring harness that has your fuse, your relay, your switch, everything you need in it, and they give you really clear instructions as well on how to get these hooked up. So again, even though there's some wiring, one out of three wrenches, and we're gonna show you how to get these wired up in just a second. So KC Highlights, probably a name that you've known. They've been making lights for a very long time, and this was sort of the standard for a while a round light like this that just puts out a ton of light in different patterns. So you can get more of a spread, more of a spot like this one, a couple of different choices out there. And then of course, right around that same time the JK came out, the mid to late uh, JK generation, everything started to switch to LED. So everything got a lot smaller, a lot more modern looking, and these by comparison look to be a little bit more old school, but they're still a great option if, if you want some auxiliary light, as long as you're okay with this, the aesthetic that they provide. For instance, my 98 TJ, I have a set of these mounted up on the A pillars and it just looks period correct in my opinion. If I had some small LED cubes, it would look a little bit off. But again, completely up to you. These will still work great even on a brand new JL. What you're going to get here from KC Highlights is a very high quality light and this is their slim light. So what you're getting is something that's a little bit smaller. As you can see, this is a fairly uh, small housing. The original KC Highlights, they were more of a bullet style. They were much larger. This is a little bit slimmer so they just fit in a few other locations where the larger one wouldn't. Again, an A-pillar is a great example. Uh, these can go right on an A-pillar mount. Now, I really like the Slim Lights. They have a metal housing, they're 100 watt, uh, H3 bulb that's in there, so a ton of light that you get out of those. There are some other options for six inch round halogen lights from KC Highlight, the Apollo series for instance. They're just gonna be a little bit lower wattage, so they're not gonna be quite as bright, and they're gonna be a plastic housing. Now, some people might like the plastic, some people might prefer the metal. I prefer the metal myself, but those options are out there for you. Now with KC Highlights, you know you're gonna get something quality and you're gonna get a very complete kit. So these are going to come with these KC stone guards and as I said, a wiring harness here that is very, very complete. So you have right here, you have your uh, two weatherproof connectors. They're gonna plug directly into your light. You have a relay, you have a fuse, you have a switch right here that is a lighted switch. So that's gonna go in your dashboard. Really everything you need to get these things installed and wired up and all of that at a pretty good price. These come in at right around $160, which I think is very, very fair for what you're getting here. There are some lights that are much, much more expensive out there. Of course, you can find some less expensive lights, but I think KC Highlights does a great job of balancing quality and price. You're gonna get a light that's gonna last a long time, throw a ton of light out in front of you, get exactly the beam pattern that you're looking at. Again, this is a spot pattern, all for a very, very fair price. So I said before, I'm gonna stick with one out of three wrenches because of the wiring harness that's included, making this install that much easier for you. Let's show you how to do it. Tools used for this installation, quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter socket. All right, so our barricade bumper has multiple points where we can mount our light. We don't have a fair lead or a winch, so I'm gonna utilize these holes right here and mount them relatively close to each other, just kind of like the factory fog lights. Now to get started, we are going to remove our 14 millimeter nut, lock washer and flat washer. And you just stick it in the hole. And this is a good spot for us to run our wires through as well, to make it a nice clean install. So the orientation of the washers, it's gonna be a flat washer first, then the lock washer, then the 14 millimeter nut. Tighten this up. And then we can move to the front and tighten up these 13 millimeter bolts that actually make the light tight. All right, so again, I got a 13 millimeter socket on a quarter inch drive, and I am just going to tighten down these lights kind of evenly, one side at a time. All 
All right, now that that's tight, we're gonna move on to the next light. All right, so it's the same steps on the other side. We're just gonna take our nut off, our flat washer and our lock washer, set them back there. Make sure you're not pinching your wires. Flat washer, lock washer, nut. And I'm just gonna tighten this down. Make sure it's even. Again, I'm gonna put my Deutsch connector through the fair lead right there, and then I'm gonna tighten up these two bolts that secure it from going up and down. Again, it's a 13 millimeter socket for those. Move on to the other side. All right, our next step is to wire it and KC Highlights does hook you up with a plug and play wiring harness. First step is to pop our hood, find a nice spot to route our Deutsch connectors and a spot to run the switch through the firewall. So let's get started. All right, don't let this intimidate you. It's a really simple uh, wiring harness. It just has two connectors, two power supplies, a ground, a relay, and a switch. So we're gonna untangle it now, get everything situated, and then run our wires. All right, so there's like 50 different ways you can wire this thing. Um, just, again, keep it away from anything hot, anything moving. There's a nice spot between the quarter panel and the grill right here. That's where we're gonna run our Deutsch connectors through and down. You may need to get underneath the Jeep to see where they're coming out, but you can see one popped out right there. The other one is following right behind it. All right, we want to leave some up at the top so we have enough to run it to our battery and through the firewall. But you can see I'm just tucking it down, keeping it out of the way. But let's connect the lights now. So here you go, here are your Deutsch connectors. The long one's obviously going to go to the furthest one away and the short one right here. All right, now I'm going to connect the lights. Make sure you do Press them in pretty hard until you hear that click. And for this one, I'm going to just run it underneath the winch mount just to make it nice and clean, and then connect that until you hear the click. All right, now I ran my power and ground kind of underneath here. Casey did supply you with a couple of zip ties to make sure you, you manage your cables um, we are going to connect this up to ground and power. I'm going to connect the ground up first. So the black is ground, and then you're going to have two power wires. One of them is going to be a load. That's going to be the yellow one. You'll see how much more thicker that one is than the white. And then the white one is your power to the switch itself. All right, that one's nice and tight. Now we are going to connect these ones together on the same terminal. Now I'm just going to tidy up these cables and make sure everything is the way I want it. Now there are three wires that you need to connect to the switch itself. They are spade connectors. The black is the ground, which goes to the brass colored terminal there. We're gonna connect that up first. It just slips right on. And we're gonna hook up our green in the middle. And our white on the bottom. And then we're gonna test our switch. Right. All right, now the last step is to find that spot in the firewall to run your switch, and you're good to go. All right, that's gonna wrap up my install of the KC Highlight 6-inch Slim Lights. For all things Wrangler, keep it here at ExtremeTerrain.com.